Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Base Game. I'm going to try something a little different. I also wanted to see if I could comment a Street Fighter. Played the game quite a bit. Now that Arcade Edition is out for the PC, there's loads of opportunities for commentating replays. Indeed, this game actually has several replay channels. You can see originals, random, newcomers, new replays right there. These are all organized in terms of the characters you're going to see. Turbo and Street Fighter 3, as well as Street Fighter Alpha. Those are the characters there. I want Dan replays. That's the place to look for them. Originals right here. This is always nice because this is the kind of thing that a lot of people are familiar with. Maybe they played Street Fighter when they're a kid and, hey, look, there's characters you know and love. As opposed to the alpha guys like, who the hell are these? Or, indeed, Street Fighter 3. And, of course, the boss characters. You'll know some of them. Not all. So I'm going to try a little bit of commentary. And the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to pick a replay channel and I'm just going to let the replays roll. And that's what happens. You go into a lobby, it picks random replays, it throws them at you. So I'm going to commentate for you. I'm going to see how it goes. The style of this commentary will be play-by-play. -play. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I'm not going to really do any analysis per se. If I do use any terminology, stuff like meaty or footsies or cross-up, then I will try and explain what that means for those of you who have no idea about fighting game term terminology, but I'll try and keep it as simple as possible. I mean, let's be honest. Yes, I've played fighting games for a while, but I am a nowhere near competitive level, so it would be ridiculous for me to do analysis on these guys. But to be fair, I think that fighting games work in a play-by-play -play format. Let's find out if that's the case, shall we? We're going to go on originals. Here we go. Okay, we have an original shell, and there we go. The first matchup will be a Blanca versus a Balrog right here. Always interesting. Two charge characters. Now, why is it called charge character, I have to ask? Or well, indeed, some of you may want to know. So, there's two really common sets of characters. There's Shoto and there's Charge, yeah? And that actually relates to the movements that you put into the controller, yeah? Shoto usually is things like quarter circles and the dragon punch movement, which is a nice simplified forward, down, forward, and then an attack button. Charge characters generally mean you've got to hold back and then forward, or hold up and then down, things like that. That's pretty much what it means. You have to sort of charge up the move. Anyway, let's get to the fight right here. Balrog, a very nice EX uppercut right there into that good, solid combo right into the corner, applying some good pressure, and he's rushed him down all the way to a very low HP. Runs into electricity, not exactly ideal. He's to get his blocks, ducks under that one, and a couple of quick jabs right there, poking at him, and there you go. First round going to our Balrog player. Very nicely done there. Didn't really look like he was under too much threat, honestly. Didn't see a lot of blanker ball action going in there. Didn't see a lot of zoning of any description, really. Trying to help drive him back into the corner. Runs right into the electricity. A good start for the blanker player right now. Hmm. Trying to break his way through that. Good use of the blanker ball to cancel out of that charging punch. And once again into the electricity. Good counter right there. It's looking good. And keeping the Balrog on the defensive, which is not always the smartest move, honestly. Balrog can play quite defensively and then come out with a set of devastating combinations. You want to watch out for that one. Blanco Ball blocked and a quick charge through to deal with that one. Balrog player looking pretty solid right now. Well, pretty equal. A little bit of poking action going on there. Some lights. A lot of light punches. Sizing each other up for the moment. Hmm, Blanca needs to be a little bit careful right here. Very easy to get caught out of position. Both of these guys playing very, very defensively. Balrog doesn't want to go in either. Doesn't want to risk getting hit by the electricity. Both have ultra combos available. Super meter for Balrog's looking very nice as well. Plenty of EX possibilities right here if he can get the range. He's got to watch out for that one. Good solid straight punch right there. Couple more will do it. Smashes him down to the ground. And there's the ultra. The question is, will it land? Yes, it will. And there you go. Very nicely played there by Blanca, who ties up the series one apiece. That ultra is an absolute nightmare to deal with. Very difficult to block. Very difficult to avoid, especially if he gets stuck in the corner. And even the chip damage is most likely to kill you if you're blocking. So you want to watch out for that one. Very nice opening there. Tried to go for the focus. And broken through very easily. Smashed through the armor there once again. And Blanca now playing aggressively. And Balrog getting nailed down every possible opportunity right here. Very nice play here by Blanca. Balrog's going to have to do something to get back from this very quickly. Smashed down to the ground. There's the sweep. And right into the electricity. Both super meters at maximum right now. Looking for some EX. Looking for some super combinations. Then EX. Blanca ball into the super for Balrog. And quickly blocked right there. Didn't hit confirm that one. 
And Blanca takes it. Very nice. Blanca ball to end that one. Good spin and down he goes. It's a very unfortunate situation when Barwok's hit confirm doesn't go off right there. Ah, Ryu versus Yang. Yang is actually a new character, of course. We all know Ryu. Yang, on the other hand, don't know an awful lot about this guy. No, no, no. All I know is that he's considered to be a fairly high-tier character at the moment. Very powerful, very fast. Got a lot of mix-ups in the middle. And here we go. Where you're looking to open up with a little bit of zoning. Absorbed there by a focus attack. So all of that damage actually cancelled out and regenerated eventually. Ryu waiting to keep Yang the hell away from him. I can hardly blame him. Incredibly quick character. A lot of combo potential. Nice big fierce punches in the middle. And a good combo to continually start to whittle down Yang's health. That's what you want to watch out for, though. Big damage and the big rolls as well to avoid that zoning right there by Ryu, who is taking an absolute pounding in the middle right here. Yang not doing a huge amount of damage, but that was a big combo. Well, watch out for that one. Nicely blocked. You won't be tricked the same way twice. Attempts for the focus. There's the ultra, and it connects, and that might be one dead Ryu. We're about to find out. Oh, it almost goes down to that one. Unfortunately, he can't even get up. Immediately going into a flying kick. And down he goes. First round of the best of three series right here going to Yang. And let's see if Ryu can come back from that. Yang, a very difficult character to deal with. You saw that roll earlier. Very quickly close the distance with Ryu right there. Try and rush him down. Whereas Ryu, of course, trying to go for those repeated Hadouken. Quick focus attack, dash cancel into nothing in particular. There's that big combo we saw earlier. Very big bread and butter combo right there from Yang. A lot of damage. Quick Hadouken right there, but still. Focus going nowhere. Quick dash to the other side as well. Doesn't need to cross up this guy. A lot of big damage. Once again, avoided. Uh, nice blocks. However, Ryu clearly on the defensive right here. Having a lot of problems dealing with this one. Yang trying to rush him down to finish this one nice and quickly. It might do the do job. Super meter is up right here for Ryu, but nothing's going to stop that. A quick roll and a low attack. Smacked into the air. And down he goes. And Yang with a dominating performance right there. Ryu not really able to do too much, honestly. Therein lies the problem with Yang, I suppose. Plenty of opportunities to get in nice and close to Rio, which is, of course, not where you want to be if you happen to be playing Rio. Absolutely not. Dals him a little bit of a squishy character. Takes a lot of damage. A lot of reach, though. And here we go. And, of course, can cancel that one out right there. Hadouken is a faster attack. Oh, nice dodge right there. And showing his opponent he fears those not. Also got a very floaty jump, you'll notice. Very floaty movement in general, but huge reach right there by Dalzim. And some good fierce attacks initially. And that's something Ryo needs to look out for. Took off a good amount of HP. Didn't mean to combo that one. And now, indeed, you see Ryo actually getting zoned by his opponent. Not what you want. Quick teleport to the other side. That's a good kick right there. But once again, keeping him at a nice distance. You don't want to be anywhere near your opponent with Dalzim. He just... It doesn't work. He's not quick enough. Not designed for that kind of play. Must keep his opponent away. And he's doing exactly that. Keeping him at arm's reach, as it were. That's quite the arm. Now backed into a corner, however. This can be risky. Usually you'll see Dalsum try to teleport out of this. The question is, will it happen? Right in there. A big smack with a throw. And Dalsum could be in trouble right there. Takes it. And there's the ultra. Chip damage doesn't do it, but the throw does. A very nice follow-up right there. Using the ultra to bait his opponent into simply blocking. Then following it up with a quick throw. And that was a best of one right there. Dalsum takes it. Rio's not exactly having too much luck at the moment. On this particular replay channel, I'm afraid. Another Rio player versus a Buki this time. A Buki, incredibly annoying character. Very quick ninja character. Ryu, well, you know Ryu. No question about that. This should be interesting, honestly. It's a good matchup. Ibuki has the speed advantage, also has the ability to zone with good projectile attacks, and has a very quick lower dash, as you can see, the big roll. Additional attack, and they're both flat on their ass after that one. Good, solid combo to open it up right there, and a punishing Shoyuken. That is nice. Very, very nice indeed. Ibuki backed up into the corner. Ibuki, not exactly the most durable character. Eats the throw as well. Ryu is just playing with this guy. In fact, it looks like Ibuki actually... Not particularly a high-ranked player, but I say it is a random replay channel. That just wasn't even close. 
Oh my, oh my. I don't even know what to suggest in that situation. Ryu had it absolutely locked down. No problems at all. Now the question is, can we get some good solid combos? Abuki does have that ability. Right now, I have a force on the defensive. Not exactly ideal at all. Misses the throw, but a good lower combo nonetheless. Driving Ryu back once again. We are taking some good solid damage, but trading blows in the middle. Oh yes, that is what I'm talking about. Very, very damaging ability. Needs way more of that. Needs to make sure she can land them. Extremely popular, very dangerous. Oh, and the follow-up with the air projectile. And here comes the ultra. The question is, will it land? It does not. And that might seal Ryu's fate right here. That was really his only way of coming back in this round. Unless Ibuki makes a lot of very critical mistakes, which is not going to happen. Two projectiles right there. Chip damage will finish Ryu off right here if Ibuki wants to. But a knee to the groin will also suffice. Ah, yes. The knee to the groin into the kick to the face combination. Very popular. And here we go. Final matchup right here between these two. Both extremely cautious. Very defensive. Opening Hadouken. Eats it. Blocked with the focus. Now, blocking with the focus is a little bit more ideal. That was a wasted super right there. Didn't hit confirm it. And, of course, Ibuki was far too close for that to land anyway. But as I was saying, eating those projectile attacks with a focus attack... Good idea, because of course you don't take any damage from that, whereas you take a tiny amount of damage from blocking it. Once again, with the very quick and a stun Rio in a terrible position. There's the focus. Do we get the combo? And yes, we do. There's the follow up. Not down yet, but one projectile will do it. Well, I suppose your big toe's a viable target as well. Rio down, and Ibuki takes that one nicely after a very, very. Well, what's the best way to describe that one? A subpar opening round. Let's go with that. Yes, subpar. Lord. Wasn't so great. Let's do one more, shall we? Ah, once again, Ryu getting his ass beat into the ground in this particular replay series. This time it's going to be against Vega. And if you want to use the Japanese terminology, well, we can just call him Claw. I'm not going to do that. Don't like it. There is some confusion between the two because the Japanese names for this character, Balrog and M. Bison, are actually mixed up. So Claw is used to distinguish between the two. Opens up with a focus and a really good solid hit. Oh yes, that was a great opening right there from Rhea. However, Vega is the kind of character that likes to be annoying as hell. And yes, that is a technical term for it. Goes for the focus and avoided and punished hard right there by Rhea. I say Vega, very, very fast movement all over the map right now. Leaps off the walls, jumps through the air, a charged character like, say, a Balrog or Bison. Now the question is, how much damage is he going to be able to do? He's lost his claw. That's his range advantage gone, unless he's able to pick that one up again, although he's not actively going for it right now. And a good solid combo there by Rio. Most of that blocked, admittedly, that's still damage. Goes into the EX spinning claw, but nothing's happening with that one. And there's a good solid smack to the knee. Ryu takes the first round of the best three series right here. Indeed. He's not much of a party animal, our Ryu, I have to say. Vega looking for a good opening. Gets the slide kick. Not too shabby. Ryu playing very defensively. Actually not zoning his opponent right there. And that was a bit of a mistake. Eats the damage from that one. I can't imagine what he thought Vega was actually going to do. Very nice and easy follow-up. Once again, bicycle kick through the air. Big damage, huge focus, and a follow-up as well. A good solid combo. And it's just dodging out of the way of that real player right now. Oh, that hurts. Big spinning claw attack right there. Dodges the focus. Vega incredibly agile, as you can see. And dominating his opponent at this point. However, Ryu does have the potential to come back. And it's a massive ultra. Oh, yes. Sure you can indeed. Huge damage right there with the second ultra. Perfectly timed. Now Vega on the back foot right here. Not happy with that one little bit. I can hardly blame him. Goes for the soup and Vega eats it right in the face. Oh, wow. Not ideal, honestly, for our Vega player right there. And such a great comeback right there by Ryu. Finally, Ryu wins a match. Congratulations in our replay series right there. There you go, folks. First ever Street Fighter cast. I have no idea if it was any good. Let me know in the comment section below if you're interested in seeing a little bit more of that. My name has been Total Biscuit, and I will see you next time.